can see these two are virtually identical. They're literally the exact same body type, the, the exact same body. They're the exact same frame, exactly the same. This one just has the engine on it, gas engine. This one has a battery powered motor. So with that being said, this one is slightly lighter than this, especially with oil, gas, all that on there. You know, everyone says how heavy this one is, you know, to manhandle it, muscle it around because it's so heavy duty, it's heavy. This one is a little bit lighter, which makes a big difference. Let me tell you, over the course of the day, going back and forth with this, it's easier to turn it, pivot, you know, the trick here. See how easy that is? You let the wheels, the back wheels do the work. That's the trick, that's the secret, guys. Big secret, you lift up the front, you spin to your next stripe and you go. Get to the end of that stripe, lift, spin, and go. But it's got the brake. Obviously there's a difference here. You got the push button start here. They added low. So the 21 inch has auto and max. Auto engages the blades, picks up the blades at a faster speed and the transmission at a faster speed when you're in thicker grass and it senses the load or you're going up a hill. This one you can put it in low and now keep it in the low gear before the option was auto or max and the auto would kick in. So if you want to keep it on low, say in transport or you're not cutting that much grass on a hot summer day and you want to conserve some battery, just switch it on low and then you know you're not going to kick it up to max at all. But I like to keep every these on auto, this one in the 21 inch, because it'll kick in when it needs to and then gear back down when, it, when it's done. Got the brushless motor here. There we go. Obviously it's meant for two hands, but we got her done. You got your three batteries. You can fit any size and combination of batteries in here. This is the biggest size battery that they have, that Toro has that you can fit in here. Um, and this gives you the longest runtime, right? Up to 80 minutes of runtime. If you have smaller batteries or a combination, then that's gonna be less runtime. But in a pinch, if you have a whole suite of Toro battery powered 60 volt equipment you can just swap out batteries which i've done before when we were on the last yard and we just couldn't fit it we had a couple swipes left and all these batteries were dead i just grabbed a smaller one a couple smaller ones out of some other stuff and out of the 21 inch actually to be to be uh exact put them in here and it got us what we needed to get done those last couple of stripes and then back up to the front into the trailer so pretty self-explanatory here And that's it. Tells you the battery level when you click it in, you're good to go. Pretty straightforward. Click, boom, you're done. I really like this. Obviously, it's it's an investment, and you should get more than just this. Like you need to kind of build on this and have an offering, a fleet rather, of different 60 volt battery equipment so that you have these different batteries to swap out especially the commercial equipment this that they just came out with toro the backpack blower the grass trimmer uh, hedge trimmer all that good stuff and they all use those bigger batteries and they come with you know you can get them to come with it and you will eventually accumulate the right amount of batteries so that you can interchange them when needed if you're using this use the batteries for that when you're not using this use the batteries to trim for the blower and so on and then you can put some on the charger in the meantime so definitely uh, excited to keep using this and see what the future holds you know, you might say 80 minutes of runtime. What is that? That's no good. That's not that long. But if you put it into perspective, for me specifically, we have a lot of backyards with small gates that we use the 30 for. That's why we have the gas and now we have the battery one. We can just really get it all done in a, in a timely fashion and we're in the in and out of the backyards in 10 to 15 minutes so if you do the math that's many if it's 10 minutes per backyard that's eight backyards we can do in a day without replacing any of the batteries on this charge on, on this mower i mean just do the math for yourself if it makes sense it makes sense i mean obviously if you're doing this entire yard behind me with the 30 inch front back side you know, that 80 minutes is gonna go quick. I mean, it's not gonna take you 80 minutes to do this whole yard uh, with that 30 inch, but that's obviously gonna cut into your time. So you gotta factor all that in, get some extra batteries, so on and so forth. So it really depends on the person and the need. You know, if you're in those quiet HOAs, different parts of the country, lower emissions, all that stuff, now you've got commercial options. 30 inch, the 21 inch, the grandstand, the Z Master, all commercial revolution 
and then you have all your hand tools your trimmers your blowers all that good stuff on the same 60 volt battery system 